All right, last video, guys. Let's uh, figure out how to do that rectangular cutout. It's at the top of this shape. Okay, it's at 0 0.20 by 0 0.04 rectangle. But if it's a rectangle, that means we need a flat surface to draw it on. We don't have one right now, right? We have a curved surface that we can draw it on. So the problem is, is how do I get that flat surface? And that involves using a work plane. So the work plane options that I have here, I'm going to use the drop down menu just to point some of them out. The ones that deal with curved surfaces are all right in this section. First things first, that phrase tangent to surface means that really if you have a curve, that you have a flat like work plane that's going to touch a curve at any point in time. You'll see these all touch curves in the pictures. So then the, really what separates them is where is the tangent to surface? Where is that plane going to be placed? We're going to choose the bottom one, parallel to plane. Okay. And what it does is it wants you to, to click twice. The first time it wants you to say, what curved surface do you want to touch? We want to touch this one here. And then for the, the parallel to which plane, what we're going to do for that one is we're going to come over here and we're going to expand the origin menu. And uh, I don't want it parallel to that one because that rectangle would be up and down. But if I choose this one, if I click, okay, notice that it just placed a work plane on that top surface, right? And so now what I can do now that I have that work plan is I can come up and if I hover in the right spot it'll highlight it and I can right click and draw a new sketch okay and uh, and on this sketch what I'm going to do I'm gonna pop this around and I'm going to draw my little rectangle here uh, actually first I'm going to project some geometry I'm going to project this here so I have those lines because I'm going to need to lock into them in just a second but now I can come through and I can draw a rectangle and remember the rectangle is 0.2 long and 0.04 wide I'm going to hit enter and it's not centered yet so I'm going to just quickly lock that in place by doing a little vertical constraint and vertically I need the middle of this rectangle to line up with the middle of say this one right here right and now it's locked into place finish the sketch let's go back to home view and now it's time to extrude that rectangular surface but you'll notice it's the wrong direction so I need to do it a cut okay a cut and instead of a distance, I'm just going to go all. Okay, and you'll see that it's kind of profiling it there. Click OK. And now the rectangular cutout exists. So I'm done with the work plane. I want it around. I don't want to delete it because I might use it later on. But I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to choose visibility. I'm going to get rid of it. And your piece is done. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions about anything in these three videos that I had, just feel free to come ask me in class.